Proteins are polymers of the monomers, amino acids. It is pretty important to learn how to recognize amino acids, and fortunately they have a pretty straightforward structure. All amino acids have an amino group, a carboxyl group, and an R group. An amino group is simply the name for the NH2 group shown here. A carboxyl group is the CO2H group shown here. It's easier to remember a carboxyl group if you remember the double bond between the C and the O atom. The carboxyl group is also acidic, so you can see an amino acid derives its name from its two groups, amino acid. The R group is short for random group. This is the group of molecules that are constantly changing. It's like a wild card. The R group is what differentiates each of the amino acids. For a high school biology course, you generally don't need to know the R groups to know a molecule is an amino acid. As long as you recognize that amino acids are made of three parts, the amine group, carboxyl group, and the R group, you are golden. So, amino acids bond together through dehydration synthesis. What does this mean? Think dehydrate. If you're dehydrated, that means you're lacking water. So dehydration synthesis is the loss of a water molecule. When two amino acids come together, amino acid one and two, one of them donates an O and an H atom, and the other donates an H atom. When these three atoms come together, they form what we know very well as a water molecule, H2O. So then, after this water molecule is lost, the carbon from one amino acid can bond with the nitrogen from another amino acid. This forms what is called the peptide bond. So, to break apart a peptide bond, you just have to reserve reverse the process. Rather than lose a water molecule, you add a water molecule, restoring the amino acids to their original forms. This adding of a water is called hydrolysis. Hydro means water, and lysis means break. So one last thing. When a lot of amino acids come together to form a chain, it is also called a polypeptide chain. So proteins are sometimes called polypeptides. Whenever you see the word, it is useful to associate polypeptide with proteins.